wealthiest pensioners need windshield fuel payments and free television licenses and some of the other caps that they get? Well, I've uh, met individuals during this campaign and, and before. I expect some of the others have as well. I've met people who said, I don't need that, and I'd be, I'd be willing to, to give that up in, in order that the, the money is spent somewhere else. But I personally would defend very strenuously the principle of universalism uh, in some of these benefits. It, it's not just about whether it's an efficient use of money, it's also whether it underlines the principle that uh, a phrase like we're all in it together shouldn't sound like a sick joke. You know, the, the principle of universalism is important to avoid this notion, this false notion that there's a them and us, some people who only contribute and other people who only receive. We are all of us dependent on a welfare state. We are all of us dependent on things that we're providing for collectively through taxation. Can the sixth richest country on the planet afford decent pensions and some of these universal benefits? You bet we can, but only if we have the political will to raise the revenue from people like me, from people like Annabelle and Stuart and Joe and Kez and yourself, people who are paid generously and are you know, in, enjoying uh, the, the benefits of, of low tax rates in this country. People who can afford to pay a bit more are going to have to if in the long term, in the face of challenges many Western countries are facing with an ageing population, uh, if, we, if we're going to be able to provide those services, we need to raise revenue from those who can afford it. And we also need to maintain an open and welcoming approach uh, to those who want to come to the country and contribute to the economy as well.